Don't move. Don't move. Just kidding. This is a carving. Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Uh, and I did not make this carving. This is from a friend of mine, Jack, and I'll put some links in the article on Woodwork Web. You'll be able to see an article on him. Uh, but uh, during this time of the, the coronavirus, when people are sort of locked in their houses and keeping away from other people, and I'm in the same situation, we're, I've been asked to, by a number of people, what can I do? I don't have a workshop. How can I do some woodworking? What can I possibly do? But carving is one of the things that is easy for many people to get into. It's often not expensive uh, and you can buy most of your materials online. So that's something that we're going to have a look at today. So stick around and uh, let's have a look at carving today. So months and months ago, I ordered this little carving set. And honestly, you can see I haven't even opened it yet, so I don't really know, although there's a picture of what's inside there. Um, oh, that's nicely wrapped. And I do know that carving tools are very, very sharp. And one of the things I didn't think to order at the time was some carving gloves, but I do have some um, leather, some old leather gloves here that I'm going to be trying out today and uh, hopefully that will be, uh, I think this is the, well this stuff is really well wrapped. Okay, well there it is all. In fact, I'm glad I didn't make you sit through that. That took a while to uh, open up. So there's for, I guess for carving, what I'll use for carving the inside. I also picked this up separately uh, and again that's sort of, you can see that's sort of a, a scoop for doing that. Uh, and then just a couple of, of sharp little knives here and they come with this little protector. I'm not sure if I'll use that or not but um, I guess they supply it. I should use that. Uh, and these are very very sharp. They're just like razor blades. Um, and <laughs> They also sent a couple of band-aids, actually a few band-aids, um, and I guess they expect I'm going to cut myself, so that's not good news for me. Um, but they also include a strop for sharpening, because these tools need to be super sharp, and also a little sharpening. I wondered how they would sharpen that, but you can see that's sort of curved, rounded, so that will be for sharpening that. So anyway, I'm going to get my leather gloves here, and uh, let's dig in. Now I've got a piece of basswood. I'm not going to use this pine after all. I got a piece of basswood from my friend Jack, and I'm not going to make you sit through my carving, um, but I'm just going to show you, you know, we'll get started a little bit and um, because I have a bandsaw and because I'm going to do a spoon I'm actually going to carve some of this out or cut some of this out on my bandsaw um, but if I was not doing a spoon I would still be able to do some carving at home very little dust now I'm not going to teach you wood carving because I don't know wood carving. I'm only going to show you what I was told to do. And for the spoon, basically what they tell you to do uh, is to make a, a drawing, you know, draw, draw roughly what you want the spoon to look like. Um, and once you get some rough drawings on there, you'll be able to work from that. And that will give you something to work from. Now, the other thing that I've learned about woodworking is you always start with a, a bigger piece of wood and work small. And I've talked about that in my videos before. So what I'm going to do in this carving, I'm going to use the same principle. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to carve the bowl out before I do anything. I'm going to do some work on the inside of the spoon and then I'm going to take it to the bandsaw and cut that off because if I can do this with a nice big piece of wood like this and work with this, it'll be much easier to do the rest of it after it's cut out on the bandsaw. So, and it won't make any difference cutting this out first. Um, I'll still be able to cut anything else out on the bandsaw. It won't affect the bowls. So there's my drawing and you can see there's where the bowl is and the handle is along there. Um, and I, I've done a, a bit of a side etching as well. So there's where the bowl's going to come down, but I wanted to make the handle so that it goes down as well. 
So I'm kind of getting the hang of these these tools. I'm really liking this one. This one um, does a really nice job and it keeps you away from the, you know, getting too close to the wood so you can, you have a nice handle with a bit of length to it. Um, but what I'm finding, you know, one of the things carvers tell me is that you will very quickly start understanding grain of wood. And I can see how this wood is, you know, it wants to do certain things. And one of them is that it wants to run this way. So I have to be careful that I don't take out too much because the wood is wanting to, to sort of run that way. So the best thing for me to do, I know it's harder for you to see, but is to sort of carve back into the wood that way, um, rather than the way that is sort of easiest for you to see, which is for me to go down like this. Um, but this little guy, it actually gets in there too, and you can go across the grain with this as well. And it's nice because even when you're going in this direction, it doesn't sort of get away on you. It kind of peels up nicely. So this is a nice little tool for spoon making as well. Well, that's turned out very nicely. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And that only took, you know, I think I kind of worked at that for maybe five minutes or something. What I discovered, and of course you always learn stuff as you go along, um, taking smaller bites near the end or smaller bits of wood uh, seems to work out. Now, when I watched somebody at the Kansas City Wood Show when I was there a few months ago, I was watching somebody carve, and when she got finished carving, she didn't sand out that bottom in there. She kind of left those ridges in there. These work gloves that I'm working using here are, um, they're not the cleanest, and they're leaving a little bit of mark on my wood, so it's um, not as clean as when I started off, but I can still see those lines. But what I'm going to do, I've gone as deep as I want to go here. Now I'm going to go to the bandsaw and cut that off, and then I'm going to glue it back on, and then we'll cut this pattern off here. Well, I don't know if I'm getting a little bit too fancy on my first spoon here. Anyway, that worked out all right. Okay, well, that's um, coming together. I was afraid I was going to go too deep in there. Um, anyway, that's, <laughs> that's coming along. That's not looking too bad for a, first, uh, for a first try. Before I go too far, here's what I wanted to... This is what I meant by being careful about the grain of the wood. See how it's just... You can see the see how it's coming off in chunks and that's okay because I need to take you can see I need to take a ton of wood off here so I'm just kind of being brutal with this knife here and just taking big chunks of that off and I'll do the same on the other side but you can see how the grain of the wood if you're not careful with the grain of the wood uh, it can get out of hand on you apparently so uh, I am going to be a bit careful with that. Well, and there I am. 
Um, this is as far as I'm able to get to today. I am having some carpal tunnel issues with my wrist and um, these tools are not helping at the moment so I'm going to need to take a break. But you know what, I'm really happy with how I've progressed. This part here is what worried me the most but with these tools honestly it's just a breeze getting in there and it was fun. Actually the, this whole project has been fun to do and I'm learning to take smaller pieces of wood and take my time and sort of do the carving and it almost reminds me of some of the whittling I used to do when I was a youngster when I got my first jackknife and of course the first day I cut myself with it like most of us did um, but this is um, being kind of fun I'm quite enjoying this I must say well, that's going to conclude my video for today. You know, my little medieval spoon, I wanted to make something that was big and chunky, uh, and I'm liking the way it's turning out. And you know what? I'm enjoying myself too. It's nice not having the dust and the noise and the machinery. Uh, it's just a nice break from doing other kinds of woodworking. It might be something you'll enjoy doing as well. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.